Well guys, I figured I'd do something a bit different tonight. Uh, and with the amateur radio stuff uh, videos lately. And I figured we'd go with an old CB video for a change. I know we've got lots of uh, CB subscribers out there, so I said uh, we're going to mix some amateur radio gear with some CB gear, mainly a Midland um, model 1001Z. And you've seen videos on this one. I had to repair this far. Anyways, so basically what we're doing, I got a mobile AM radio here, stock microphone, and as you see, there is no mic gain on this radio. Mmm, do you know where I'm going with this? So, I got myself an aluminum case. I've got myself a four pin chassis mount connector. I've got myself an old mic cord. Switch, uh, battery plug, and this. Mm. I'm sure some people out there may recognize this already. But uh, this, if you wonder what it looks like under all that tin, it looks like this. And what this is, is a mic preamp. A microphone preamplifier and two of these are exactly the same one without the case one with the case now one thing you may be asking where did I get this hmm UD 30878T2-B yes where did this come from hmm well this is where the amateur radio commercial stuff is going to breed. <laughs> I'm going to breed a project that will work on CB. This board was actually from an ICOM. An ICOM SM26 or SM25 desk microphone. Two of these came from it. The microphones themselves, uh, they're good mics. The real bad drawback with them is the little switches for your PTT audio the uh, yeah they're, they're no good but anyways so mics are pretty much junk and well I salvage the mic elements and I salvage the preamps from them anywho so what we're doing basically what I'm going to do is take the preamp I'm going to take the preamp mount it in the case Run it on a 9 volt battery, put the 4 pin plug in the case, then we're going to wear this into the board, then this here will screw into the radio, and then this cord will plug into the box. Basically, I'm building an external microphone preamplifier. This is a first for YouTube in regards to using this preamp to work with a CB radio. Alright, so I got the mic connector mounted. I got the two holes drilled. Now that's going to accept two two holes there. So basically I got two screws and mount that down. That'll be the next part of it. And uh, we'll get that done. And I'm gonna put a switch in this thing. And I may even put a, uh, a mic gain on this thing as well. And I'll probably put it on the output here. Either on this part side or put it up here. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, look at the actual preamp. That uh, board mounted next. Alright, so I've got the preamp mounted. Now I've got to wire the uh, power and mic audio. That's next, so from here in, then I got to keep the wire basically running for the PTT part of it from the original white core from the Midland. She got it cooked here, and just it's going to be straight through basically, but I'm just breaking the audio audio line to do the amplification. So, anyways, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Well, guys, after much fussing around with the uh, amplifier. Uh, finally managed to make it work. The only drawback that I found actually using this amplifier 
uh, was a squeal on receive on this uh, Midland model 1001Z um, on receive when the amplifier was turned all the way off all the way up you get the, you get a squeal on receive and you turn the amp off squeal would disappear but squeal would only happen if you turn it all the way up um, so basically what I had to do with that is I had to put a 100 ohm resistor across the receive line of the uh, microphone to the radio. The red wire is to receive on this one, by the way. Just because it's south wire on that, but anyway, who cares. So I had to put a 100 ohm resistor in, in line with the receive to cut out that squeal that you had on receive. So, anyways. So I had my trusty Macranta 3 range uh, power modulation SWR tester here. So basically what we're going to do, right now the radio is wired directly to the microphone. So with this microphone under its own power, this is the audio produced by it. Test one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two, audio, audio. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. Test one, two, one, two, testing one, two, testing one, two, audio, audio. Test one, two, one, two, one, two. So as you can see, you're only getting about 10 to maybe 30% modulation with this uh, particular microphone. Um, your whistle, you get 90%, 80-90% to modulation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the amplifier in line and we're going to see the difference in the modulation here. So, stand by. Alrighty, so now I have the microphone wire to the amplifier plugged in. Goes from here to the radio. So, let's check the modulation on the microphone now. With the preamp. Test one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Test one, two, one, two, one, two. <whistles> Audio. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Five, 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 five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, five. One, two, one, two, one, two. There you go. 40%, 40 to 50, swinging 60% modulation with this uh, preamp. So the uh, the preamp works, which again, in order to make it work, I had to add this 100 ohm resistor. So keep that in mind, actually. Anybody has a radio that uh, has a tendency to, to squeal and receive, try a 100 ohm resistor, and you never know what uh, what might work. Anyways, again, just a little short little recap. Basically, this is a preamp from a old ICOM uh, SM25 desk microphone. I have a couple of these. I have this one and the other one, which is just the circuit board. This one here, SM25. So, yeah. So we have a mic preamp. So it's just a preamp. Just takes your modulation in on your weight over here. You got your ground, and then you got your audio coming out on the orange wire, which comes over here. Obviously, it's shielded, which comes over your mic gain control here, which goes back into the radio. So, and there we go. Anyways, that's uh, I guess how you can use a preamp from an SM25 uh, ICOM desk microphone and use it on your CB radio. Easy sneezy. So, there you go. Now you know how to take an SM25 disc microphone and work your CB radio. It's just a matter of uh, keep this part of it <laughs> wired the way it is. So keep it this design and you'll be fine. Uh, you might have to rewire your microphone to work or something, but you know you get the idea. You may just have to rewire your connections here. That's not, that's not here nor there. Anyways, all the best guys and hope you enjoyed the video.